Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about Elementary OS Luna and its latest stable release uh, as of last Friday when I installed it onto my netbook because we're to the point of where XP is just, it's getting really old. I remember when XP was more or less a standby, but now we're to the point of where Windows 7 is just so cheap nowadays, Windows 8 is okay, I use Windows 8 personally, it's not that bad. But, specifically, we're going to be talking about Elementary OS Luna, not Jupiter. Jupiter is completely outdated at this point. Uh, Linux gets outdated extremely fast, so it's, it, it's, it's the kind of thing of where Grandma has the kind of computer that would run Linux fine, but it can take a bit more of a skill set than, say, Windows XP or even Mac OS X. Now, this specific uh, install... Uh, of Linux is based on Ubuntu. It's uh, Luna OS. It's so similar to OS X. It's not even funny. It uh, it is pretty much OS X in its nature. It looks amazing. It's based on uh, Linux and uh, OS X are based on Unix, which is an extremely stable st uh, base for an operating system, and it's just uh, a really rock solid base for basic web browsing, chatting, and YouTube watching. Alright guys, so here we are at the desktop. I'm not going to cover the laptop. I got the camera set up on a tripod, which I actually find that a lot of YouTubers actually lack. Uh, mostly those that shoot with iPhones, but anyway, uh, here is the desktop. Uh, as you can see, it looks extremely, extremely like OS X. It's lovely. Uh, we can open up Firefox. Get my wireless mouse. Look at me being a pro. Ordinarily, I'd have to use the stupid little trackpad. Um, did not actually think to bring a wireless uh, wireless keyboard. So, let's see here. Let's go to, I don't know. There's like, uh, let me just take a moment here and talk about YouTube. I'm scared to play a YouTube video right now, uh, mainly because of many content ID claims, uh, Classic Game Room, he left, he just, he left YouTube, he didn't go to Vimeo, he simply went to his own website, ClassicGameRoom.com, I'm actually a member there, uh, I used to be a member long ago, and, uh, I don't know, it's Angry Joe is thinking about quitting, I mean, uh, I've even gotten a few content ID claims, and it's really killing off all the smaller YouTubers, uh, Hipsticks uh, just dropped off. She had like a hundred and something subscribers. Uh, she was barely like five weeks in and just wiped her right out. Three content ID claims in less than a day. So we're at Vimeo now. So uh, no in video ads. What is up with this? Choose your Vimeo membership. Okay, I think something's a bit wrong with the display here nope looks like vimeo.com your videos belong here I guess it wants me to like log in or something I don't get it All right, here we are so let's just search for royalty royalty free uh, this is the Firefox web browser it's about as about as useful as a browser as you can get the standard browser uh, is not too good on this Linux distro. Um, I generally would avoid it. Uh, it uses some weird search engine called DuckDuckGo. And yeah, it's just strange. Here's some royalty free stock footage. Not really something that you can show. But I mean, it, it's very useful. We're using 802.11g, which is not really an issue with anything with the operating system. This is simply a. I'm not sure if it's stuttering or what, but it's freaking annoying. So that's the only royalty-free video I can really show you right now without YouTube really getting up my. So that is Firefox on here. It's I would go to Facebook, um, but that's kind of pointless. Anyway, we're back at the desktop, and we've got MiniTube, which is like Mac tubes. Uh, it works quite well, actually. Uh, just for playing YouTube videos, you can make playlists and everything. It's it's uh, almost a direct knockoff of Mac 
tubes, uh, Nile ball, um, uh, from the PowerPC hub. He actually uses uh, Mac tubes. Uh, it's actually quite late at night here while I'm making this video, and uh, I'm guessing that my coherence is probably showing. So, anyway, uh, you enter keywords and everything. And this is what I really do want to use this for. Um, Windows Movie Maker just stuttered on here, whereas uh, this is called OpenShot. Uh, it's a video editor, and it's it's quite nice actually. It's uh, basically it's just a simple video editor. I don't have any clips to show you right now, uh, but no real lag on the desktop. Um, it's no Final Cut Pro, but I mean, I, I personally use Premiere, but it will get the job done. You get a single video preview uh, window right there. You get the backtrack, forward, uh, I believe that is mark in, mark out. So this is actually forward and back. So this is actually mark in and mark out. Um, OpenShot is a nice little editor. Uh, I have edited a few videos. It will not. The, again, I'm mainly limited by the hardware that I am running this on. Uh, it's no real issue with Elementary OS. Elementary OS is solid as rock. That is, if you can really get it to install. I had a troubling time trying to get this to install. Uh, it's got a version of like an iTunes ripoff. This whole thing is just mainly trying to rip off Apple. Uh, some might call that ironic, um, but I am not inclined to state on that. But anyway, uh, I've got a few songs on here. None of these I'm going to be willing to play, uh, mainly because of YouTube. Um, these were all purchased perfectly legally. Um, Geary Mail. Uh, this is a mail client. Um, haven't set it up yet, but basically... It's your average mail client. It can set up with Hotmail, Gmail, and pretty much any mail client, Yahoo, uh, except for some of the more weird mail client. And if you're still using uh, some weird AOL-style mail client, you really need to get with the times. Empathy. Now, Empathy is the version of iChat. Um, I got my contact lists here. Uh, you can message people. I've got it hooked up to Facebook. Right now I message my friends on Facebook. Uh, it's quite nice. Quite a nice little application. Some of these applications are actually built in. A calendar application. Uh, it's nothing really interesting to say. Uh, you can mark it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You know. It's currently the 13th. Uh, it's Friday the 13th here, so... I didn't even realize that until just now, so I may have just jinxed my video. I can hear some dogs out there barking. It's like, it's getting pretty late. Um, shot well. Um, I believe this is a version of a knockoff of iPhoto. Um, well, those dogs. All right, so shot well is basically you can import from a camera and there are some images like here's a picture of my cat I took I took this picture of my cat and import selected and yes I want to keep and there's my cat he's right there and I believe I can open it up and there's the cat there's no real editing on this I believe that this is oh uh, no nope, uh, no editing tools whatsoever other than the basic iPhoto rip off like automatically improve and I find what iPhoto does is it, it, it can make it look better but it brings out the grain and this is personally why I shoot raw this is from an old SD card uh, from when I actually shot on a point and shoot not with the T3i that I'm filming with now uh, you can reduce red eye you can do the selector and reduce that um, it's not all that good. It's no, well, it's no um, Adobe Photoshop, but uh, in a pinch, sure you could use that. The movie player, uh, I don't have any movies on here, but 
Uh, basically, it's I would just get VLC personally. This thing is extremely taxing on the little Atom processor. But hey, I mean, if I was going to, which I am planning on putting it on there so I can do a proper review of this operating system, I am planning on putting it on my main rig. I just need to get another hard drive. Uh, but that's gonna, that particular messing around hard drive is gonna have to come later because right now I am just creamed for storage. Uh, I've got 200 gigs left, and that is going very fast. Software Center, uh, which is going to be the last application that I'm going to show you guys today. Uh, it will take a while to open because it accesses the internet and it's accessing it over a wireless G connection. Um, in case you don't know, wireless G is very outdated. Uh, but they decided for some reason, HP decided to put it into this netbook in 2009. Um, see VLC, uh, you can get a lot of apps, uh, there's not too many games, I tried to game on here, I used to be able to game when I was running XP, but right now, if you're running XP, I, I strongly urge you, get out while you still can. A couple of my friends on Facebook, I'm not going to say their names, but, um, uh, he had, he got his Facebook account hacked, and some credit cards stolen recently from using XP. He just used it on a day-to-day -day basis um, and it's just a generally outdated operating system. I would not, I, I refuse whenever people bring over notebooks or whatever and they want to like check their email guests or anything, I just don't allow it. I say here, here is a live CD. Please refrain from trying to connect to our Wi-Fi when you're running XP and obviously they think that Linux is some weird thing, so I, I always keep just a, a at least one four gig flash drive with a live uh, with a live version of Linux on it, uh, most likely outdated. The last time I think I made that flash drive uh, was was it like I believe it was like uh, 2011 that I made that flash drive. Um, but yeah, I. It's it's much better than XP. I was playing B Battlefield 1942 on the thing. Um, it barely ran, and it was just not worth it for the security risk, mainly. Um, let's see here. Uh, it's got a little applications menu, and a few things here where the audio thing, interesting enough, uh, it's got a little music tab, so I thought that that was thoughtful that they put that in there. You got the date. Uh, time's a bit off, but everything else is fully correct. It's actually sometime around 8 o'clock. I actually got up. I've been sick lately, and that's why I have not been putting out uh, too many videos lately. So, uh, yeah. And, of course, what Linux distro would be complete, or any computer, without a version of a text based writer thing that's basically notepad in its usefulness, uh, but for all it's worth, it's pretty decent. Um, it's about as basic as you can get, but I mean, if you just got to jot down a few things, it can be very useful, and it just further adds to the experience that uh, this is just a lovely, lovely distro. It reminds me so strongly of OS X. It's just uh, it's an amazing uh, OS on a less than amazing netbook. Thank you guys for checking out my video on Elementary OS Luna. It's a really nice Linux distro. It can be a bit of a character at times, but still it's really excellent compared to XP on this netbook. So thank you guys for checking it out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, kick it.